good friend, Wheatman. Hello. We're here playing here. of Loathing. And I have to admit, I've been looking forward to playing this game for quite some time. Uh, because I've heard, well, I heard of it here and there, and I did see a bit of Markiplier playing it, but that was in a age, so I can't remember a thing. So basically, I'm going into yeah. blind, and the reason I have Wingman is because he's going to make the choice. So he can go yeah. as chaotic or as calm as he wants. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> well, let's see what we have. Alright, so... Oh, hey. oh we actually choose... Oh, okay, so... That helps us choose the cat. I guess so. Um, uh, let's see, which one shall we do? I'd say the cat. I just like cats, so I'm going for the cat. And I guess, yeah, how about we break every single uh, of the other things as well. <laughs> Yay, we got the 50. Ooh, and it's your name. Let's go. We, we can change our name. What do you want to edit it to? Uh, not sure. <laughs> but anything, uh, anything fun, I guess. Something random and chaotic. Okay, uh, first name... Bloop, bloop. There you go. <laughs> Amazing name right there. Yes. <laughs> Go. Best name to be for you. I have a feeling that that's going to get really tired. Really tiring really quick. <laughs> I know, but it's going to be worth it. Alright. No, it can. Oh, we got to open up. That's new. Play as open Let's see. I had the strange dream. I was everything a character class. Uh, bean sleeve. A cow puncher, a bean sleeve, or a snake oil. I feel like magical beans are the best option. Right. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined. And the Bing Slinger is the mystery master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. <laughs> oh no, cows. <laughs> okay. I mean, best to be a Bean Slinger and not a cow puncher with a story like this. So, yeah, we are being a Bean Slinger. E w A S D. You read the spine of one of your books. Play Danger and the Curse of the Ancient Mansion. That was one of my favorites. Adam Smith and the Curse of the Forgotten Ship. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. The Miracle of Vulture Hospital. I read that one ten times. Happy Drew and the Trouble at the Cursed City. Mum gave this one a few years ago. The current Lucy Barn. Okay, we can just walk away. Okay, never mind. I was like, I'm looking at you all day. Goodbye, Jess. Why are we saying goodbye to the Jess? Oh, apparently. You're here, you're here. Well, stop. You gain an experience. Of course. Hey, Russell, how are you doing? I'm gonna miss you. Let's feed him. You grab a cricket, 
Top option all the way. Top option all the way. Oh, okay, there goes the music. You see the and there goes the music. I got XP from the special We got an experience. <laughs> this perfectly puts the earth in the earth and home. I'm gonna miss some cooking. Some I'd say the miss meals. Oh, hey. It's something in German, and I have no idea what it actually means. No, I wouldn't have a clue either, except for the word function. I mean, the game is right in saying that just the title page gives me a headache. <laughs> I probably butchered that. <laughs> What is this guy into? What the hell? A lot of weird stuff. I hey, got, I I'm... got a puzzle cube! Yay! Yay! Weird diagrams and charts. Uh oh. <laughs> Your mum smiles warmly as you approach. Well, only one option, I guess. You can play as any other character if you like. I'm leaving now, Mum. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Trembo. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks, the one about dessert survival, the one about bartering. I'd say bartering with magic beans is the best combination, because you can just barter people for beans. This book is a guide to making the most of your meat by getting the best possible deal on every single thing you buy. The, dick oh, nice. <laughs> the, dick the dickering school. <laughs> I love that name. Um, Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will mum goodbye. Okay. Thank you, hey, mum. Mother and father. That hat doesn't fit you or time for me to leave? Time for me to leave. We're saying goodbye to everyone. It's your grandma's hey. can of beans. Of course you give me a can of beans. Just I mean, it's, 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 it's the bean stinger, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's The brother, here we go. He's pretty good at looking nervous. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fishing with it. Hey, Rufus, time for you to head west. Uh, I guess option two would be the best. Like, yeah, you're not over the top uh, good or bad, just a neutral-ish reason for it. There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm going to make something of myself, i got to go where I can make some meat. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mum and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay. If you say so, I still think you'll be dead by Kimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give, you give him a playful punch on the arm. Nice. Alright. There we go. That was just the opening <laughs> scene, huh? There you go. Yeah. Ha! Holy ball. I like the music. I don't know. Can you hear the music? No, I can't. Ah, boo. <laughs> boo indeed, but I don't need music. I can handle it now. Uh, 
There we go. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you hit a town in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Uh, hi, buddy. You get it? He's very drunk. Yeah, he is very drunk. Hey, we got the turnip. Yay. I wonder if something happens if you like walk into one of those cactuses. Apparently you go out, didn't it? <laughs> go on drinking. Yeah, it's only oh. we just saw. Okay. Yeah. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waits at you to get your attention. You wanna play him? You wanna do his voice? I'm not sure, bro. I'm not the best at voice acting, sorry. Oh, I'll give it a go. Alright. Hey, where's your head, dang nabbit? Well, I... You can't drink in here without a hat. That ain't proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the hat box and find a magical black stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. <laughs> nice, we got a hat. Nice. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh... Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, it's some friendly. Happy nod. Say, fella. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more too unhappy to come along. Yes, let me know. No pressure. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Is that a spittoon? Ha! <laughs> it's a spittoon! <laughs> it's a spittoon, people spit into it, you know, without even looking in it, that is absolutely disgusting. How about we look in it anyway? Alright, let's look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell... Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth and clusters platoon. Ah, I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Try to get it. You reach your hand toward the platoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at the mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. I never give up. You plunge your hand into your soup. It makes a sound like... Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to wash to water. Keep searching, <laughs> never give me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your fingers make contact or something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to ask to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Uh, congratulations. We got a nasty ring. Wow. One muscle, one mysticality, and one moxie. You know what? Those sound, so those sound like good buffs, so uh, I'll go for the Hoobery option. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have one. He's still playing poker, at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth on their hands to the how to play poker card that came with the deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Oh, uh, we can't we can't ask for play because we haven't got enough of the meat yet. Not then, I guess. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back door reading "We will for lost mugs, twenty-five meat each." Ah, okay. Interesting. 
the bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Plooperdoo. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Fortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch what I mean. If you're looking for a real job, I recommend talking up to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Which one should we choose? Um, I'd say errands. You mentioned errands. Yeah. This forsaken work is always falling apart in one way or another. The hustler's always needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I got a goblin loose in the basement. And some, co some cow poke in from the gulch, didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I think... We can yeah, we can handle a little goblin. I can probably handle a goblin. <laughs> Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You got an item. Weak fungi. Effective against goblins. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Ploopadoop. Howdy, Ploopadoop. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. Well, I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Ah, gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out of the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable, I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. And there we are, with a goblin. We'll deal 25 oh, damage wow. to the target job. Dead straight away, good grief. Uh, easy. Hey, T experience. Our gumption is now level 2. Get up and get her done. The higher it is, the quicker you are. Let's yeah, go. Sounds good to me. Anything else down here? A box of whiskey. We have a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> we never established never age, the age, the legal drinking age here is to reach the top of the bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I think... Howdy. What if we... Howdy, good to see you again, Ploopa Doop. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Ploopa Doop. I knew you were a stand-up fella the moment you walked in here. Here you go, it's the least I can do. Oh, by the way, of thanks. Oh, wow, 200 meat. Who's the lady drinking whiskey with a beer mug? Just for say howdy. Um, I'll go for the top one, sounds interesting. That's Susie. Oh, sorry, that's Hugo, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
and Susie, she's a ranger from nearby and the real tough bird. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why is that? Because her whole family to a cow attack recently and got some pent up frustrations about it. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, I've been mining these mountains longer than a little uh, pistol wickered puzzle hustler who can bark at the moon. Uh huh. See you later, Pete. <laughs> oh, now we can play against these guys. You want to try? Sure. They can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. What does Moxie do? I does it say? Sure. Pink. Um. I'd go for the crazy just because I am crazy. Okay. Eat this. All in, okay. suckers. Sweat gushes from their faces as they each read the how to play card again, but eventually they both add 20 meat to the pot. Okay, read them and leap. Show your pair of tens plus two, three king. The girl on the left has a full house, and the girl on the right somehow got a straight flush. Ooh, I can outbox him? Yeah, I'd go for outboxing then. You explain that jacks are worth 9 points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21, to the girl on the right 20, and you're 25 plus a king. And the king represents King Rush, whom the Western colonies revolted against because of unfair taxes. So they all paid a tax of 10 feet each. They nodded on the same and pushed more meat across the table at you. You quite you wouldn't even stay in that. They thank you for helping learn the game. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you for 60 meat. Let's go. <laughs> we totally. Uh, oops. We totally bamboozled those guys. <laughs> Oh, nice. That was worth it. Okay, we can go and see the sheriff now. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I am the sheriff in these parts. The what? He sighed. The sheriff, eh? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would ya? As a matter of fact, I am. As a matter of fact, we... I am. Great, because I have uh, happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here that call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my solder with him. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. <laughs> I need somebody tough, smart, and or stick to go fetch it back for me. Uh, okay. We'll give it a shot. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. Ha, the deputy is literally a pistol. Nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. Deputy, you deputize the gun? You're new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except for drinking. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang side out is for you. He makes little note on your map, he discovered a new map location, the Fricker Gang side out. Got it, I'll be back with the door. Apparently we're going to get a door. Oh, here we go. Yes, nice. You got my Moxie kit. Moxie affects how much damage you do deal when shooting and how much damage you take when getting shot. Oh, nice. 
so it, it affects how powerful you are, I guess? Yeah. I guess each of them uh, gives you some kind of boost. I was fun to say, you're smarter than a box of rocks. I'm glad. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that could be interesting. Boiling love and her head at foes. And then there's a green shield. A whirling spear of beams that will protect you from melee attacks. Wow, nice. And there's a lost bottle in the corner. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the bar had one of those signs on it that uh, like asks you to look for lost mugs. I found this mug. Hey! Nice. Again. Hi, buddy. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? No, well, you know, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> to tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All, all of my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They pretty much always run to the same places. Okay, so we've got the Orhole Mine, the Boring Springs Boneyard, and the Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why these places? <laughs> I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send it back here. How does that work? The special fit pigeon infused oats. Okay, we'll see you, see you later. And then there's the one, uh... No, hey, you got a Easter egg, let's go! And, and it's... Okay. I got another one! You got <laughs> you can we talk to an ordinary horse? The most typical horse you've ever seen. I guess we can't take him yet. Right. No. Can we, um... Um... In the top menu, there's uh, a map as well. Hmm. Step right up, step right up. Braids the name and trades the game. You seriously got the biggest name is trade. Howdy, trade. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap, for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner, faithfully show you how to snake eyes. Well, today I've been to slow trade a fine silver pocket watch. Well, we did find some meat, uh, some needles, so we can take some dynamite, I guess. Yep, dynamite for the wind. Oh, take some dynamite. Braid, which is so not his name, takes your needle and hands you a stick of dynamite. Be careful with this now. Then we come back and sometimes you see that side come out as well. Okay, cool. Nice. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Get lost. Oh, alright. Oh, alright. I guess... <laughs> you approach the weird cactus snake hybrid and he smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. The, and the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. Right. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? 
No, that's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, you know. You know. No, <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a might boring. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Yeah, in the get lost, that's probably that person in the bar drinking after losing uh, the family to all the cows. And that's why they're so angry. Alright, we've got hey. quite a few places to look at. Where do you want to go first? Hmm. I guess the Frigger Gang's hideout, because we took that job first. Makes sense. Hey, he's asleep on the job. Find the Frigger. Figure Games interpret lookout appears to be taking a little nap. Do you want to wake him up? Ignore. Ignore. Just ignore and walk past. <laughs> it's a beer barrel cactus. You need 14 in order to hold it. Hey, finders keepers. Recovered moth. If you wore fancier shirts, then those might have come in use. <laughs> hey, another one asleep. Do we want to shoot him, time <laughs> I wouldn't bother him, but I guess passing the soap is funny, so let's do that. We are both so before singing people to both sleep and the sub. We have to actually work. <laughs> it's true. We got soup. We cautiously approach the big game. They're pretty engrossed in the game, so it doesn't actually look like that much pressure. Live behind a barrel and eavesdrop on the conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you never got his name is the knife. And that the surely one is Brother Wimpy. What's your play here? Approach them and talk. Just have a friendly chat. Howdy boys! Fill me in? The one without the other part. Uh, uh, Alley Pat reads his eye at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Father and Soapy? What do you want? Um, I'm here for the sheriff's door. We're just gonna... <laughs> I'll show you the door. The door to hell. He reaches for his gun. Right, here we go. What's our move, guys? What are the options for the moves? Okay, melee, lava, beam shield, surrender, or dynamite. I'd go for the lava beam. Just because it's magic. Number Cadabra Beam! Damn! You missed! I... You missed! <laughs> oh, oh, no, he got me. Yeah, the sniper guy looks like the kind of guy. Sniper, yeah. He looks like the guy that would one shot you if you uh, do it. Oh, yeah, let's try again. Let's just go back in. See if we can get the soap again. Leave without alerting them. But we can't like him. No, uh, no. Nah. We're not gonna disturb him. He's asleep. He did nothing wrong. I guess we gotta approach and talk. And then... Uh, I think we should try and aim for the sniper guy. And then the uh, magical beam. Abracadabra, lava beam! So now he can actually snipe us, and the other guy is going to simply miss. What just happened? 
I think you have aimed for the barrel and not for the guy himself. Oh wait. Somehow the accuracy is really bad with guns. I guess dynamite then. We okay. There goes the barrel, and now you can shoot him. A oh, fun little puzzle, I guess. We easy win, victory. The leaders of the cricket game are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Mysticality. Ooh. Very nice. Time to recover the sheriff's door. Okay, hey, got another mug. Nice. Let's go. Three mugs. Hey, you got an item. The sheriff's cell door. It just magically fits inside of your inventory. Let's go. No, of course. No, the soap guy. I guess we should probably tie him up, just for the sake of being sneak. <laughs> Honorable. Let's go. He got a strong moral compass, yeah, after we just killed the two leaders. <laughs> and can we tie up this guy as well or not? No, but we can wake him up. We can wake him up and... Yeah, and then just tell him that we already got the door. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. You wanna fight or you wanna walk away? Walk away. But you don't want this life, take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. He'll be fine, he'll be fine, yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. Just let him fall. Should we go back to the town? Yeah. We got some box and a door to return. I found much. I found box. Yay! We got more meat. Four hundred and ten. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. I see, the Fricker Gang hasn't put the stuff to your briefing. Did you rescue my cell door? Nice work. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left for me to round up? Yeah, one or two that are asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. He produces a big bag of meat. 400 meat, let's go. Nice. Got another little test for you if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Well, the Frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. Alright. So I guess that's that whole uh, ordeal done. Alright, so now we got these other places that we can go to. Uh, I guess just counterclockwise, so the Orville mine. Alright. There's meat ore in the car. Score, <laughs> you can't meet. <laughs> hey, and the mug as well. Let's go. <laughs> Instructions for the cargo elevator. A postal wall behind reads master cap storage plungers tools. Where do we want to send the cargo to? Uh, I'd say we leave it alone for now. Yeah, probably go here. Unrefined Most worthless rock shot to with things, crystal flash and well just things. Hey, 
this looks dangerous. At least there's no Punisher who can't do it. I think if we had a dynamite stick, we could actually blow that up. But I'm not sure. Nice. You can't get past the rubble, obviously. I guess level 1 would be the top level, which is hopefully up level. But I'm not sure. Yes, free cargo. Blasting caps. The period is part of the label, and that's why it's inside the quotes like that. Grab one. Dang it. Looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to pry one of them open. Nope. What if we send it all the way to level 3 at full speed? And then it just explodes at the bottom. Ooh. You can pick the lock. <laughs> you can have the crowbar. Nice indeed. I gotta go for lunch real quick though. Right. You're back. You have to 
just wait a hole wide enough to grab the ball. Unfortunately, I don't have any guns, so I'm gonna have to wait till I'm Before long, they'll call you a snake murdering. They'll call you snake murdering. Razor? Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. 
You think of the answer just a little bit of graveyard and hold them out again. The horse gives expression swing at them, then eats them. And it actually lies way in the direction of town. Yeah, that was certainly bizarre. Spotted her hiding in that mine, but thanks for taking back my dark horse. Sure thing. Looks like my pale horse made it safe. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating local weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. That's all of them. You, I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. You gain a hundred weed. Um. I have a lot of meat now. I wasn't expecting that much. Wow. Okay, let's get back to your box. Found his mods. Much obliged. Nice. So, can I have luck? Braid, though you really don't think his name is actually Braid, takes you so and hands you a lock. Nice! Now I can take this to the sheriff. Can I just scare up the lock myself? Yep, got one right here. That'll do nicely. The sheriff puts the lock on the cell and accidentally drops the key and it climbs into the cell. Hellfire! Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle handy? I'll see what I can do. Fortunately for you, I... Anyway. Mm, never mind. I thought I did, but never mind. I'm back. Welcome back. I, um, managed, I managed to get all the horses, by the way, while you were gone. Okay. And I also, um, completed the Sheriff's Door Challenge thing as well. Nice. These are the horses. Got one that's gone stir crazy, one that was literally a ghost, and the other one was in the mines. Okay. And now I've got so much meat on me now, it's so crazy. Alright, I guess, um, sell me a horse. I should warn you though, oh, horses get my feet attached to the riders. Once you've got one, you won't be able to get them later. Um... Which one do we want? I honestly feel like the shifty dark looking one. Yeah. Because, well, having the dark horse with the beam magic combination is gonna scare any criminal. Hmm. I'll take the shifty dark one. When you say sneaky. Alright. Quiet and likes dark places. Fair enough. I guess we'll take her. Reveal on the door. Nice. Give her a name. Can you come up what with you... Um, oh, names are always so hard. No, name, name, name. Maybe Lunar? Like that? Uh, 
Yeah, sure. Luna works as well. We can change it. All right. We got Luna the horse. Hey. South east to west map. Can we go there with the horse? Or... Once you need boring screen, she won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business will forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you want to leave? I think there was a few other things left to be done here, though. Yeah. I wouldn't go then. But she don't... Um, anything in regards to that uh, lady that had lost her family and is drinking at the bar or not yet? Oh yeah, well, oh, yeah. well on the horses I did come across some gravestones and one of, them, one of them was a Cochrane family so this must be the daughter. I guess so, yeah. Are you Susie Cochrane? I saw the graves. I saw the graves in the cemetery. I'm sorry for your loss. The bartender said it was cows? Not cows, not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me a place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked a couple of days ago. It happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cows smashed in the front door and a fire started out back by the root cellar. Cows went up in blazes, just like that. What did you do? Uh, I, uh, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs for the kids because of the fire. And I saw a tin trampled right in front of me. I just... I ain't want to talk about it anymore. Sorry. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here, and no desire to stay. Can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle, so I got left of, of nobody, of, of anybody. Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go get it. All right, looks like we're going to the cafe ranch. Yay! Well, that's not a whole lot left. Ooh, realistic shadows. Yeah. Can we just walk around that thing or not? Oh, you're not gonna make it uh, past the thing. Looks like I well, have to fight it. Yeah, we gotta fight indeed. Well, let's hope magic does oh, magic! Hello, Kazim! <laughs> ah, and... oh, 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 oh. No. Okay. Fire! Ah! Fire! Nice. Three. You gain experience. 
And you got a rifle. Alright, we got the rifle. What we were here for. Or is there anything else around here? Ow! Ow! <laughs> yes, not. Okay. You found my rifle yet, stranger? Yep, here she is. Susie's eyes roll up with tears as he hand her the rifle. She roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Flipper Doob. Thanks, Flipper Doob. Can't really say what this means for me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you. Well, that's enough wallowing and misery. It's time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you head west, you just say the word. Hey, looks like we've got a partner. Yes. Okay, so... I still feel like we're missing something. And what specifically do you think we're missing? Nice. Maybe the trade has something? Let's see. Okay. Three real snake hides, I guess, but I'm not sure if we actually know where any rattlesnakes are. And do you have any mugs left or did you hand those in already? Uh, no, I already handed them in. Okay. Oh, good, we can do that. I did think we could. There you go. And I guess when it comes to that, you can only have like one melee item and one uh, ranged item. Now, which one's I think the skinning knife is better because we need the skin uh, skinning of the snakes. Like we need the snake skin specifically, so we need a skinning knife for now. Yeah. Maybe I missed a few things or like did a few things in the wrong order. 
like, there's this, but the only way to get to it was to get dynamite, and I don't have the dynamite anymore because I used it in the yeah. other. Maybe we'll come back to this place, or maybe we'll just have uh, missed some parts of it, I guess. It will. But that's the thing, because we've, we can, we've only gotten as much done as that we can because of that order that I did anything in. So, yeah. basically, um, basically, yeah. Okay, then I guess it's time to hit up our friends for the journey and then go uh, to the next place. But we had like people that wanted to tag along, right? Okay, maybe she'll we'll just automatically call. Maybe she will. The other, and the other Pete guy will mo most likely also automatically join. You said something about earlier about an injury? Yeah, I busted my knee while mopping out the showroom. Don't ask how, it's embarrassing. I was gonna get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why did she do that? Nobody knows. She shut herself up in her office, said she wouldn't talk to any anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse, or...? I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. Whiskey, your favorite, I'm led to believe. Didn't know she makes house calls. Alright, hold on. Holy crap, that's a lot of TNT. Doc Alice looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is green and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp. If bloodshot, she holds out her hand. Whiskey, stat. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask that she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging it out of the bottle. Jeez, doctor doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Okay, point taken. Can we have the TNT? Yeah. I guess not. Hey Doc, can I look at your book? Sure if you want to. Not that they're gonna do you much good in this doomed forsaken hellhole. You should try being less cheerful. You should try being less cheerful, Doc. They're all medical textbooks, except for a few. <laughs> Not sure which of these would be the best. I guess the top one? Or maybe I'll just get to go alter all four of them. The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, secreted in the hidden sense, not in the extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. Ah, okay. Oh! Civil War Surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it, you must just find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. So it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. <laughs> At least there are some useful appetences in the back, and some diagrams of appetences. Uh, 
Again, we got experience. Okay. I can speak goblin now. Yay. Do you speak a little bit of goblin, at least enough to order her board beer, which is the important thing. Um, is everything alright? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so... So what's, uh, I mean, what's the matter, Doc? <laughs> Go save. What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart. And what the and you ask what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one? I'll drink to that. Dead men walking? You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with their half strings cut, looking to take a bite out of the living? It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. De dead patients don't get back up. Patients? Oh, ouch. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterward and looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough? Buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um... Um, indeed. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So there appears to be some kind of curse or something on this land. There's de cow demons turning on people and all sorts of stuff going on. Um, did we actually get a, uh, task from anyone? From anyone? Uh, I don't think so. The one thing I haven't managed to get is a shovel. I feel like I need a shovel at some point. Alright, well, okay. I, think, I think we can go now. Yeah, I think we did everything, but I'd say right out of town, so we at least have to divorce with us. Okay, well, see you later, boss yeah. trains. You're properly horse ready to start your new life in the West. All you need now is a partner. Somebody to share the trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional combat support. We can take Crazy Pete or Susie Cochrane. Uh, I'd say Susie is the best <laughs> option. Yeah. You pop back to the saloon and collect Susie. One last thing before you go. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or would you prefer to sign it for yourself where your XP gets spent? You can always change this later in the auction. I'd say keep it automatic. Yeah. Just for its sake of peace. Yeah, I agree. Alright then, oh, let's go. Let go. Check your map. Of Dirtwater and a manifest Destiny Railroad Company's Western North Camp. We can go to Dirtwater or we can go to the Railroad Camp. Yeah. Okay, looks like we're going to Dirtwater. The first day of the rest of your life.
It is, Susie. I'd like to check up on some of the ranges in these parts. See how bad the cow attacks are getting. Alright, do you know some? Not in great detail, but I know roughly where a few are. Or at least where... I guess we'll ha just have to see. There's one not far from here. I'd say, what do you think we should do next? What do you think we should do next? Um, if we're looking to get a move on westward, I reckon I'll change the way to go. Didn't that map the hostler gave you have a marker for some railroad camp or other? Might be worth checking out. Good idea. Now let's see. And with that, guys, I'm going to have to pause up for now. It's getting a bit late, so hopefully we'll see you another time for the rest of the West of Loving. Well, this has actually been quite fun, I have to say. Yeah, definitely been a lot of fun. Can we say Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it says continue, yeah, it's so, okay, for you. Good. Alright, well, we shall see you next time, guys, and see what new adventures Pluper do week of Flop gets up to. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, we shall see you another time. Thanks for joining me, Weep, and hope to see you next time, guys. Peace out. Please.